Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Offshore Audio. I'm Andrew and this is the channel where we're bringing you tips and tricks to help you mix better live events. In the live sound industry, we throw about a lot of terminology, right? We use a lot of jargon. The word jargon itself is jargon, right? Terminology that is specialized to our industry and other people don't understand. At least in my experience, there's not really any system for teaching people what everything means, you know? You know, people just throw words about and assume or hope that the other people are going to understand them. And quite often as well, there's this atmosphere of you should know what this means. So it's really important to always ask questions. I thought today that I would start to demystify demystify some of the terminology. Just explain what some of the terminology means. I'll start with the venue and our job roles. Where is front of house in a venue? What is a front of house engineer? What are all the other engineers and technicians called who are on the sound team? What do all these words mean? If you're wanting to get involved in front of house mixing, then you're going to need a good ear for EQ. And I have a gift for you before we start to get you training your ear, get you mastering EQ quicker. And that is my three step EQ guide. And you can get that at offshoreaudio.no forward slash EQ. And it's just a really short, really quick thorough guide to get you started with better EQ. So you read the guide, you apply what I write in the guide, and then you'll start thinking about EQ differently and start applying EQ more methodically. Offshoreaudio.no forward slash EQ. But without further ado, let's dive in. I want to start talking about how the venue is made up, the sections it's made up, and the things we might refer to in the venue. I'm going to focus a little bit about front of house, right, this terminology, because what is front of house? Where, what, whose house? The house is the venue. Maybe you already know that, maybe you don't. In practice in the venue, there are areas where the public have access to, and then there are areas that are off limits to the public. So essentially the off limits area we usually go backstage, and then the audience area is the area that they do have access to. And talking about front of house, there's a few ways that we can sort of define this terminology, right? There's a few ways that these words are used. First of all, it's the area where the techs, the engineers, mix the show. And that's not just sound, but lighting and AV as well, is all situated at front of house, right? That's where the front of house mixer is. And that mixer is the mixer that controls the sound for the audience. So if you ask, hey, where's Harry? And someone says, he's at front of house, then you know to go to where the main mixer is. That's front of house. If you're loading into a venue and building everything up from scratch, then an important question to ask is, where are we going to put front of house? Because that affects where you run all your infrastructure, where you need power, where you need tables, chairs. Now front of house could also refer to the PA system. And in this terminology, your front of house speakers are all of the speakers that cover the audience area, the listening area for the audience separated from monitor speakers, which are the speakers on the stage that are playing towards the artist or the talent. So front of house PA might not just be two speakers or two speaker hangs. It could also be front fills on the front of the stage. I'll leave a link to a video about them down below. And it could be outfills that cover the side outside of the main PA. Similarly, monitors are the wedges on the stage that play back to the artist, but it could also be in-ear monitors, and it could also be side fills, speakers on the side of the stage that play in towards the artist. But let's talk a bit about the front of house technician, the front of house engineer. What is that role? By this point, you probably got it. The front of house technician or the front of house engineer is the sound engineer who's responsible for mixing the sound that the public will hear. For the sake of completeness, that means gaining up input, setting EQ and gates, applying compression, and balancing effects and the levels in the main PA. On smaller shows, your front of house engineer is also going to be mixing the monitors from the front of house position. So in a sense, they are both a front of house and a monitor engineer. Now, ideally, the front of house position, where we mix the show from, is going to be somewhere about two thirds of the way back in the room with no wall behind you and a great field of view, sort of audio field of view to all the speakers that are covering that area so that you know exactly what the audience is hearing. Now, that doesn't happen very often in real life. In real life, you kind of get thrown 
in the corner or wherever. So if you're setting up a front of house position, be prepared for a little bit of compromise. Unless you are the artist selling out an arena, then you probably don't get to dictate where front of house is 100%. You go where there's place. A front of house engineer might also be responsible for creating the technical rider, specifying the inputs and the processing mic stands, microphone preference that their artist needs. So in this sort of environment, I'm talking about a front of house engineer who is touring with an artist or working with a dedicated artist. But you might think, okay, I want to work in a local venue or I already work in a local venue. Am I a front of house engineer? And yes, but you're also a venue technician. The venue technician's responsibility is sort of all encompassing. In a smaller venue, the venue technician might be responsible for getting all the inputs connected into their speaker system, making sure that the artist's mixer is connected to the speakers or that their stage box and their microphones are available to the artist. When the artist does not have their own engineers, you are the front of house engineer, you are the monitor engineer. So I'm talking a little bit about other technicians now, other sound engineers who are on the job as well. So let's let's try let's try and break down some of them. If you're enjoying this sort of fleshing out of the terminology, then please leave me a comment down below and let me know because there's a lot more terminology than this and I can go into detail on it a bit more if that's something you're interested in. What does a larger audio team look like? Like what are the roles? What are they called and what do they do on these sort of larger shows with several people on them. Next up I would say is probably your monitor engineer and they are solely responsible for mixing the artist's monitors. Like I said earlier, in-ear monitors, side fills, stage wedges. They may also be responsible for coordinating wireless frequencies for in-ear monitors or for wireless microphones. Their position is unsurprisingly always at the side of the stage so that they have direct eye contact with the artist and so that they can hear what's happening on the stage without hearing so much of the main PA, the front of house PA. Another really important sound engineer on bigger shows is the system technician, the system tech or system engineer. Now this is a job mostly for large shows, like really quite big shows where you're deploying a PA, you know, so I'm thinking arenas and that sort of thing where you're bringing in your own speaker system and rigging up. And the system engineer is responsible for the proper deployment, tuning and coverage of that speaker system. It's their responsibility to make sure that the speakers are covering the audience area and that everyone has even coverage throughout the venue. So that the seats up the back are just as valuable as the seats down the front. Like I said, in a small venue, you're likely to be an all-rounder. You're likely to have to rig up some speakers. You're also quite likely to have to tune the PA system, mix front of house, mix monitors, maybe even coordinate wireless frequencies. So as a venue tech, you are an all-rounder. On the flip side of that, on festivals, you might find that you also have a line technician, a line, someone on a line technician. And that's someone who's responsible for just getting everything unplugged at the end of a set and plugging the next artist into all the correct inputs by looking at the input list that each artist has supplied on their rider. So in summary, front of house is both a place where a sound engineer mixes the shows. That sound engineer is also called a front of house engineer. And front of house can also refer to the speakers which are covering the whole audience area. Those are the front of house speakers. The audio team is made up of several types of engineers, not just front of house engineer, also monitor engineers, line techs, system techs. There can be more. But if you want to be any one of these technicians, you're going to need a good ear for EQ. So check out my three-step guide to perfect EQ. I'll leave a link to that down below in the description, but you can also head to offshoreaudio.no forward slash EQ to get this free guide that's just three steps that you can take to make sure that you're on track to EQing better shows today. Apply it at once. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel to let me know to keep making videos in general or like the video to tell YouTube that this was a good video to make and tell me it was a good video to make as well. And of course, leave a comment if there's anything that you're wondering about. If you're interested in any of this, or if you want to know more about any other terminology that you've heard in the field, just let me know. I'll be sure to get back to you. For now, have a good day. Goodbye.